Well, hey there, church family. This is Pastor Jay with the weekly update. Today is January 25th. We have arrived at the end of this month already. I don't know where January went, but it seems like just yesterday it was Christmas, uh, but it is blown by, and here we are wrapping up uh, the final week of, of January, heading into February next week. Uh, guys, I know that uh, COVID numbers and things like that have really kept a lot of people from being a part of what we're doing here. I, 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 I We send out these videos to, to help that, but also know to keep you connected to what's going on here. We have Zoom opportunities on Sunday morning. We have our YouTube channel for you to continue to play, stay plugged in, and I hope that you're taking advantage of those. I don't want us to feel separated and isolated. We are the family of God, and we are the body here at Shady Oaks Baptist Church, and I hope that we're doing things to bring you together instead of push you apart. And so the mediums that we have of, of video and online things should be things that help us come together. And I hope that um, we're able to get to a place in the future. don't know when that's going to be when we, we come to church and we're not afraid of what's going on with the virus and pandemic and things like that, just to come together and do that. And so uh, if you're staying away because of the virus, use these mediums, stay connected. If you're coming to the building, let's address how we can uh, work together to be able to connect generations, to strengthen relationships, to work together, and to uh, transform our communities. The idea, those are our core values that we're looking to walk in this year. And how can you take your role, your spot, your opportunity to plug in and connect with that? Well, guys, there's lots of things to, uh, that we can do and we can talk about, but I want to talk about two things real quick, and then I want to talk about one of our core values that I want us to emphasize over the next couple of weeks. That first thing I want to tell you about is the senior adult Valentine Banquet is happening on the 14th of February, and it's a Joy Club lunch moving to dinner, an opportunity to have a banquet that evening. We have entertainment with Craig Murphy coming in, singing songs of uh, country and western, kind of gospel-ish, but also kind of Elvis songs, and so uh, he'll be here to entertain, but you need to sign up by the 6th of February to get that. So you can sign up through your life groups. You can sign up through Information Central. Well, we're still working on whether it's an online sign up, and I don't know if that works for you or not, but still, here's an opportunity. Uh, sign up for that by the 6th, uh, and so you can come and enjoy and have a great time together. Uh, looking forward to that. And then the second thing I want to talk about is this past Sunday, we had um, in our worship guide the, the information about the trip to Phoenix this summer. Well, it had a June date on it. I want to let you know it's not happening in June. It's happening in July. And in July... 16th to the 23rd is the actual trip dates. And we had an informational meeting back uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, because of COVID and things like that, we didn't, we didn't have that many people turn up. But now we have enough to do the trip. But uh, we could still want to give you an opportunity to find out more information about it. So if you would like to gain information about going to Phoenix on a mission trip this summer, we're going to have another meeting on the 20th of February. I know that's next month, but it'll be here like really quick. And so the February 20th is that informational meeting. So if you came to the meeting last month, Know that the February 6th date is now being moved to the March 6th date, so to commit to be a part of that. And so we want you to come and be a part of that. Um, it's a family mission trip, which means you can invite your family. Your family may consist of you. Your family consists of you and your spouse, you and your spouse and your children. However you want to classify that, we want to allow this to be a multifaceted thing. Uh, next Monday and Tuesday, I will actually be in Phoenix with Tyler to take a look at some of the things and, and, and connect with some of the people out there. And so here's another opportunity to gain more information that we can have to have a great mission trip this summer. And I hope you're looking forward to being a part of that. All right. Lastly, guys, I want to talk to you about one of our core values that I brought to us uh, as, we're, as areas to work on, and it's the core value of working together. Guys, the core value of working together, one of the things that we shoot for in there is to have collaborative conversations, this idea that we come together, and it's not the staff and the body of the church, it's us coming together to have conversations. And, and so an idea that was presented to me that I presented that Sunday, I also want to remind you of, is we want to have collaborative conversations, and in doing so, we're going to give you the opportunity to write down questions to the staff. I know that's, you know, uh, body versus staff, but it's, just a, it's, a, it's a starting point for us to be able to have these. And what we want to do is take what you write down as your questions. Now, they all don't have to be bad questions. They could just be, you know, whatever you want to ask. And the idea is, is that we come together and we look, the staff will look at these questions, we'll come together and we'll address some of these questions when we have the opportunity to, whether that's at uh, annual meetings or whether that's, hey, we need to have a meeting and talk about this. Um, whatever the case may be, but I want to have conversations where you realize that this is your church. It's not the, it's not Jay's church as the senior pastor, lead pastor. It's, it's Jay's church who's a lead pastor, leading the staff, leading a church, all trying to come together for this great thing of working together. 
And so guys, that's what we're trying to do, to give you some input, give you some, some help in understanding what we're doing and why we're doing things. If you don't know those things, just to work together better. And so that collaborative conversation happens in there. But also realize that in those collaborative conversations, we have different viewpoints on things. There's things that we need to be unified on, on the essentials. There are things that we need to have liberty for one another on, on the non-essentials. But we also have to have this mindset of being charitable in all things. And not be, not be coming at people or, or, or anything like that. Let's, let's believe that the best is, is, is happening. Let's believe that we're trying to encourage and grow another in Christian love. And that's what we want to strive to do. And so, guys, um, this coming Sunday, we're going to have index cards in the pews for you to write down those questions. You can drop those questions in the offering boxes um, and, or hand them to a staff member, whatever the case may be. And we're going to begin this process of scheduling how do we have these conversations. We'll also give you the opportunity to email questions if you want to do that too. But we want your questions. We're not afraid of your questions. We want your questions so that we can be better together and so that everybody has the information so that we know what we're doing, why we're doing it, and that why propels us to a great, great future together. So guys, I hope that you're looking forward to being a part of that. Again, if you have questions, you'll be given an opportunity to write those down and, and get them to us. Uh, but stay tuned this Sunday and then email those questions as well. But hope you guys have a great, great day. Hope you're staying healthy. And I hope to see you this coming weekend, if not tomorrow night at church. Love you guys. Have a great, great week.